Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Thank you for having me here tonight. Bonsoir, messieurs, dames. Merci de me recevoir ici ce soir. So, you're interested in how we rise to the challenge with the help of Zen. Alors, vous êtes intéressé par uh, comment uh, éveiller uh, à travers le challenge du Zen. In Biarritz, what kind of challenge do we talk about? À Biarritz, de quel genre de challenge on parle? Life is good here. La vie est belle ici. Is it good everywhere? Est-ce qu'elle est belle partout? I'm pretty sure you have seen parts of the world, including France, other parts of France, where there's a lot of homework to be done. Je suis sûr que vous avez visité des endroits dans le monde ou dans une autre partie de France où il y a beaucoup de, de travail à faire. And if you have done your own homework, you can help others do their homework. Et si vous avez fait vos propres travaux personnels, vous pouvez aider les autres à faire le leur. In Zen, we say, wake up and help all beings. Dans le Zen, on dit réveillez-vous et aidez chaque être humain. And tonight, we talk about why we need to wake up, whether we are asleep or not. Et ce soir, on va parler de pourquoi il est important de se réveiller, qu'on soit endormi ou non. And if we attain a higher level of awakening, then how can we help others? Et si on atteint un haut niveau d'éveil, comment est-ce qu'on peut aider l'autre? Before we do that, we will recite a short mantra. Et on va réciter un court mantra. This mantra will help us get here 100%. Because when you think, your thinking partially takes you out of this room. So if in your mind you go to Paris to check the Notre Dame, okay, then part of your mind is in Paris. Si vous êtes euh, en train de penser, par exemple, à Notre-Dame à Paris, et une partie de nous est à Paris. You're not 100% here. Et pas 100% ici. And when we recite a mantra, like this very simple two-syllable mantra, it helps us be here. Et quand on récite ce mantra, très très simple, deux syllabes, ça nous aide à nous rassembler et être là à 100%. So our mantra tonight is Om Nam. Om is the universe. Om is the And Nam is purity. Nam is the purity. So let us recite the mantra of the universe in its purity seven times together. So it has no melody. It's a unison, very simple tone. It has no melody. It's just a song uni. Be brave enough to join. Use your ears and also use your voice. Okay, together. We human beings are very predictable. We have our own face, our own individuality. 
But as human beings on this earth, everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants happiness, love, and welfare. And everybody wants to avoid suffering, poverty, and famine. But each of us has their own ideas about it. Each culture has its own patterns of solution. And each religion promises you something else. Zen, in the way we Westerners look at it, is not a religion. Zen, de la façon dont nous les Occidentaux le, le perçoivent, n'est pas une religion. It is attaining who we truly are and discarding who we think we are. C'est devenir qui nous sommes réellement et mettre de côté qui nous pensons être. If you make a mistake, where does it come from? Si vous faites une erreur, ça vient d'où? If you have illusions, where do they come from? Si vous avez des illusions, d'où viennent-elles? Look at your own self-image when you were 12 years old. When you were 22 years old. 32 years old. Well, nobody's past 42 here, so. But look at the way you think about yourself, what kind of self-image you had throughout the years. How radically your idea about yourself changed over time. But there was something that saw that. There is something that sees this change of self-image or images. And we are looking for this unchanging, unaltered clarity. And this clarity is something we can call our true nature. Not mine, not yours, not theirs, our true nature. In fact, this is the only thing that is really common in us. Everything else is different. The way you think and I think are different. If we are attached to this difference, we become very separated. In an individualistic society, we even become isolated. Dans une société individualiste, on devient même isolé. Or even lonely. Ou même solitaire. Or even alienated. Ou même aliéné. Nobody wants this. Personne ne veut ça. How does this happen? Comment ça arrive? We are attached to our karma. Nous sommes attachés à notre karma. And this karma produces, our habits produce a lot of illusions. Et ce karma produit des habitudes et donc beaucoup d'illusions. That includes our ideas about ourselves, others, and the world. Ça inclut, merci beaucoup, les idées de nous-mêmes et des autres et du reste du monde. So we create a lot of false images, ideas. Donc nous créons beaucoup de fausses images et des fausses idées. The distance between illusion and reality, that distance is suffering. La distance entre l'illusion et la réalité, c'est cette distance qui est la souffrance. So sometimes people say, I cannot trust anybody. Alors des fois, les gens disent, je ne peux faire confiance à personne. Yeah, but how well do you know yourself? Oui, mais à quel point vous vous connaissez? Do you really trust that image that you know as yourself? Est-ce que vous faites vraiment confiance à cette image que vous croyez être vous? If you do not understand yourself how can you trust the world? So there's a deep relationship between taking away illusory ideas, coming back to reality, 
and being trustworthy and trustful. So there are several ways to take away illusions and come back to reality. But all of them come back to the same point. We attain who we truly are and discard our illusions about ourselves. When we do that, we can actually trust what we see and what we hear and what we think. Then we can trust the world. Because our perception is correct. The Buddha himself summarized this teaching in the Four Noble Truths. Le Bouddha lui-même a résumé These four are the four pillars of our practice. Ces quatre sont les quatre piliers de notre, de notre enseignement. He identified the fact of suffering. Il a identifié le fait de souffrir. We want to live forever, but we are impermanent. On veut vivre pour toujours, mais nous sommes imper impermanents. We want ourselves and the world to be perfect, but we are not. On veut que le monde et nous-mêmes soyons parfaits, mais nous ne le sommes pas. Even the closest person, your most beloved, is imperfect, and you know that by now. Même la personne la plus proche de vous est imparfaite, et là vous le savez. And through that, you know that so are you. Et donc à travers ça, vous savez que vous aussi. And the other is my favorite. It's freedom. We want to be free and independent. And all we find is dependent relationships. So we have to get started with three things that we don't like about life. This is the cause of our suffering because we are not ready to acknowledge this. Impermanence. Imperfection, imperfection and interdependence. Et so this is the cause of our suffering. Ceci est la, la cause de nos, de nos we have all kinds of ideas. We want to paint the world into a better image and it never works. What is the end of suffering? C'est quoi la ferme de la souffrance? Is the exact opposite of the cause of suffering. C'est l'exact opposé de l'effet de la souffrance. Instead of making illusions and false expectations, we come back to reality. Au lieu de faire des illusions et des, des, des fausses attentes, nous, revient, nous revenons à la réalité. And for that, understanding alone is not enough. Et pour ça, la compréhension par elle-même ne suffit pas. Having just good emotions is not enough. Avoir des bonnes émotions, juste avoir des bonnes émotions ne suffit pas. We need experience. Nous avons, nous avons besoin d'expérience. We need to attain who we truly are. Nous devons euh, atteindre qui nous sommes réellement. And I give you a metaphor to help you understand that. Je vais vous donner une métaphore pour vous aider à comprendre. We are close to the sea. Nous sommes près de la mer. People on the seaside have been living on fishing for centuries. Les gens qui vivent sur le bord de la mer depuis des, des, des centaines d'années vivent de la pêche. So the fishermen, they took the boats, their nets, and they went out, they caught some fish, brought back, sold it, lived on it. Alors les pêcheurs ont pris leur, leur filet, leur bateau, sont partis en mer, ont été pêchés, ont ramené des poissons et l'ont vendu et ont, vit, ont vécu là-dessus. But one fisherman was never satisfied with this. Il y a un pêcheur qui n'était jamais satisfait avec ça. No matter how full the boat was with fish, something was missing. Peu importe à quel point son bateau était rempli de poissons, il y avait toujours quelque chose qui lui manquait. And he realized, even if he caught all the fish, it wouldn't be not enough. Et il a réalisé en fait que même en attrapant tous les poissons, eh bien, il n'en aurait jamais assez. He wanted to catch the sea. Il voulait attraper la mer. But he realized at the same time that with his net, he will never catch the sea. So how can he catch the sea? 
he realized he cannot stay in his boat for that. He has to put his net down. Il avait besoin de descendre son filet. And he has to take a swim. Et il a besoin de se jeter à l'eau. So when you jump into the sea, you attain what the sea is. Donc quand vous plongez dans la mer, là vous obtenez ce qui est la mer. And then you swim with all the fish if you are brave enough. Et là vous nagez avec tous les poissons si vous êtes assez courageux. So that's the difference between thinking and attainment. Ça c'est la différence entre la pensée et, et obtenir. Because if you think your logical conclusions are like fish in the net. Your analytical consciousness is like this net. It's looking for essential thoughts. But if you only catch the fish, you will be remote from the sea. Mais si vous attrapez seulement les poissons, vous êtes séparés de la mer. You will never attain the sea. Vous n'obtiendrez jamais la mer. Our original mind is not thinking. Alors notre, notre esprit originel n'est pas la pensée. Our true nature doesn't change. Notre nature profonde, véritable, ne change pas. And if you want to attain that, you have to return to a mind which is before any dualities. Et si vous voulez obtenir ça, il faut repartir à l'esprit and so far, during the last few millennia, we humans did the opposite. <laughs> we looked for God and we wanted to purge evil. It didn't work. Look around. And it didn't work. Ça marche pas. Sincere Buddhists, they wanted to get enlightenment, and that's wonderful, but they sometimes worked against their own karma. In that way, you never get enlightenment that you work against your own karma. If God wants to make a good alliance, he has to put the devil to his side. <laughs> if you want to be a good practitioner, you do not discard your karma in any way. You use it. If you have bad habits, how can you use them? How? How is it possible that you see your own destructive, harmful, addictive habits? How can you use them? Comment est-ce que vous pouvez utiliser ces mauvaises habitudes d'autodestruction Comment est-ce que vous pouvez les utiliser First, you have to go beyond them. Dans un premier temps, il faut les dépasser. Acknowledge that you have them, first step, going beyond them, second step. Prendre conscience que nous les avons, premier pas, les dépasser, deuxième pas. And then you can take the energy out of these habits and use it for something else. Et à ce moment-là, vous pouvez prendre l'énergie de ces habitudes et l'utiliser pour quelque chose d'autre. How do you go beyond these habits? Any kind of habits, not just bad habits. Comment Any vous, kind of habits. Comment est-ce que vous dépassez ces habitudes? Pas que les mauvaises habitudes, toutes les habitudes. Take the identification out of it. Sortez l'identification. You carry your habits in your backpack, but your backpack is not you. Vous portez vos habitudes dans votre sac à dos, mais votre sac à dos, c'est pas vous. You can change your habits, and you should. But your true self never changes. If you have any label of good and bad on anything, it becomes your identity. If you take the polarity of good and bad out of anything, it stops being your identity. Then you can go beyond it and you can use it. If you don't, that karma uses you. Anybody who owns a dog or raised a child or cared for another being knows this. If you train your dog, your dog listens to you. 
Si vous entraînez votre chien, votre chien vous écoute. If you don't train your dog, you have to follow your dog's habits. <laughs> si, si, si vous n'éduquez pas votre chien, vous devez suivre ses habitudes à lui. Children are our hearts and they are way more complex, but it's the same thing enfants, in this regard. Les enfants sont, sont, sont notre cœur, mais dans le fond, c'est la même chose. If you give good education to your child, it becomes very autonomous and very clear-minded. Si vous donnez une bonne éducation à votre enfant, il devient autonome et très, très clair. If you don't uh, educate your child well enough, then the child's karma will control you. Si vous n'éduquez pas l'enfant d'une bonne façon, le karma de l'enfant vous utilisera vous. But we have to begin with ourselves. Mais on doit commencer avec nous-mêmes. To the extent that we understand ourselves, to that extent we understand another human being. Au point où nous comprenons nous-mêmes, nous pouvons comprendre un autre être humain. What you hide in yourself becomes a blind spot in your mind. Ce que vous cachez en vous-même devient un, un, un point mort ou un, un, un angle mort dans votre esprit. That is the blind spot where the world hits you. Cet angle mort que le monde vous, vous touche. If you have the same kind of problems, look at your own mind. What is it that you do not see? If you always bump into the same kind of conflicts in relationships, what is it that you do not see? Si vous, vous rencontrez continuellement les mêmes styles de relations, qu'est-ce qu'il y a en vous que, que vous ne voyez pas? If you have the best intention, but it gets distorted on the way, and you cannot realize them, where is the mistake? If you have the best intention, but it gets distorted on the way, and you cannot realize it, where is your mistake? In all, we call this the perception of cause and effect. Dans le zen, nous appelons ça um, cause à effet. So perceive origin and result. Donc percevez l'origine et le résultat. We have four major channels in our personality for this. Nous avons quatre chaînes majeures dans notre personnalité. Thoughts. Les pensées. Feelings as emotions. Les sentiments en tant qu'émotion. Speech. La parole. And actions. Et l'action. If you look at yourself. How much do your thoughts, feelings, speech, and actions follow each other? How much do they point to the same direction? Do you say what you feel? Do you really think clearly about your actions? Do you really do what you want to do? And you realize it is almost never the same. We human beings are within margins of error. We are not perfect. So if the distance between words and actions become too big, people start to call you a liar. But if you have the average distance, which everybody has, you're a good person. So perceive real cause and effect inside, and then you can take at the root of suffering. Alors, percevez à l'intérieur de vous-même, et là, ce moment-là, vous pouvez enlever la cause de la souffrance. Why do we talk about this so much, the four noble truths? Pourquoi est-ce que nous parlons autant de ces quatre nobles vérités? Why don't we right away talk about love, kindness, compassion, these wonderful things? Pourquoi est-ce qu'on ne parle pas d'amour, de compassion, de suite? Because if you want to have a harvest of wonderful apples, you need apple trees. Parce que si vous voulez euh, cueillir des belles pommes, il faut avoir un joli pommier. If you want apple trees, you have to plant them. Et si vous voulez des pommiers, il faut les planter. And if you want a plantation, you have to dig into the ground si and do some hard work. 
Et si vous faites une plantation, eh bien, il faut creuser la terre. Donc ça, ça demande du travail. So it's like you go to the market and you want to buy some apples and somebody tells you, uh-uh, start digging. Why? Because it will be your apple tree. Your path. Your realization. In this genre, I cannot eat your apple and you cannot eat mine. Dans, de, dans, dans cette façon de travailler, vous pouvez manger votre propre pomme mais pas la pomme de l'autre. That means I cannot take away your karma. Ça veut dire que je ne peux pas vous enlever votre karma. Nobody can, even if somebody promises that. Uh -uh. Personne ne peut vous l'enlever, même si quelqu'un vous le promet. Your karma is in your backpack, not mine. Votre karma est dans votre backpack, pas dans le sien. That's why we do the work. Once we rise to the challenge of understanding ourselves, we are ready to do this. C'est pour ça que quand, quand on est prêt à faire le, le travail et élever notre conscience, et on est prêt à effectuer cela. Every experience is as clear as your mind is. Alors chaque expérience est aussi claire que l'est votre propre esprit. You don't have this clarity of mind, all your experiences are distorted or diminished. Si vous n'avez pas cette clarté d'esprit, de, de, toutes vos expériences sont distorted. If we are attached to our own thinking, to our own emotions, to our own ideas, then our mind is always moving. It's like waves on a lake. And when your mind is moving, then it's not still and it's not like a mirror. And then you practice Zen, then we attain this original mind, which is not moving. And in this mirror, everything is reflected clearly. Then the sky is really blue. The trees are really green. No projections, no ideas, just as it is. Pas de projection, pas d'idée, juste tel que c'est. We call this suchness, or just like this. Nous appelons ça juste comme ça. Notre mot, je ne peux pas vous dire. Juste comme ça, parfait. Juste comme ça. <laughs> When the world, including you, is juste comme ça, then you see things and people correctly. Quand le monde est juste comme ça, comme vous êtes, et bien là, à ce moment-là, nous voyons le monde And this correctness is not your self-righteousness. It's being in accordance with reality. It's being one with the universe. It's taking a swim in the sea of reality instead of catching fish of your own ideas. And if you look at the fourth noble truth, which is the way to end suffering, that leads you out of suffering. How? It's called the Noble Eightfold Path. Ça le passage qui a huit chemins. And every single one of these eight paths et begin chaque, with correct. Et chaque début de, de ces huit passes, le chemin commence de façon correcte. Correct view. Avec une, une, une vue correcte, une vision correcte. Correct speech. Avec une parole correcte, juste. Correct action. Une action correcte. Correct effort. Un effort juste. Correct livelihood. Une vie correct. Okay. Correct meditation. Meditation correct. And correct awakening. Un éveil correct. When I studied this many years ago, I always wondered what is correct here. Alors, quand il a étudié ça il y a quelques années, il demandait mais qu'est-ce qui est correct ici? How do we determine what is correct? Comment est-ce qu'on détermine ce qui est correct? And here comes your wonderful apple now in the basket. Et voici euh, qui arrive dans votre merveilleuse pomme dans, la, dans votre panier. If it causes happiness, harmony, then it's correct. Si ça produit de l'harmonie et de la joie, eh bien c'est correct. If it causes suffering, deprivation, 
war, etc. Not correct. Si ça produit de la guerre, quelque chose de nocif, mais pas correct. And that's why Zen means you have clear eyes, clear ears, and clear insight. Okay, you don't need anything for that. Just your own clarity. C'est pour ça que Zen veut dire les yeux clairs, les, les oreilles ou l'ouïe clair et l'esprit clair. You don't need any other beings for that. Nous avons besoin de personne d'autre pour ça. You don't even need that many scriptures for that. On n'a même pas besoin de beaucoup d'écrits pour ça. You need some. Vous avez besoin d'un peu dans ça. In fact, you read whatever you want. En fait, vous lisez ce que vous voulez. It actually doesn't matter too much what you read. En fait, peu importe réellement ce que vous lisez. Just understand it correctly. Juste comprenez correctement. And if your mind is clear, you understand it correctly. Si votre esprit est clair, vous le comprenez correctement. Then you can see the difference between the user's manual and the appliance. Et là, vous verrez la différence entre le manuel et la pratique. The difference between the menu in the restaurant and the food that they bring out. La, la différence entre le menu dans le restaurant et, et, et la nourriture que vous apportez à table. The difference between the map and the landscape. La différence entre la carte et le, le terrain. If you do, you never fool yourself. Vous ne vous fourvoyerez jamais. And if you do not deceive yourself, then you also do not deceive others. If you find that you have deceived others, at first you have deceived yourself before. If somebody deceives you, you have also deceived yourself. So clarity is everything. Alors, la clarté, tout. That's why awakening is of the highest value. Because that's when we can reap the right fruit. À ce que nous les bons so actually rising to the challenge in this complicated life is very simple. Alors, en fait, de se mettre devant ce challenge dans cette vie très, très compliquée, en fait, c'est très simple. Be clear. Soyez clair. Stay clear. Restez clair. Help others do the same. Et aider les autres à faire de la même. You do not have to convince anyone. Vous ne devez pas convaincre qui que ce soit. Least of all, should you become a Buddhist. No, 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 no. Vous n'avez pas besoin de devenir Buddhiste. Oh, correct. <laughs> Merci. But be clear. Be true, be insightful. Mais soyez clair, soyez perspicace et soyez vrai. And then your thinking becomes wisdom. Et à ce moment-là, votre pensée deviendra euh, sagesse. Not just cleverness, wisdom. Pas juste de l'intelligence, de la sagesse. There's a difference and you know it. Il y a une différence et vous le savez. Your emotions become compassion. Vos émotions deviennent compassion. Your speech becomes truth. Votre parole devient vérité. And your actions will not be just for yourself, it will be for others. There is only one condition. Il a plus condition. Put down your idea of yourself and become your true self. Discard your small mind, become your great mind. Mettez de côté votre petit esprit et devenez votre do not identify with your ego because it's an illusion. Become who you truly are. Remember, your ego does not exist. You make it. And if you don't make it, it's not there. Your ego is not an entity. It's an attitude. You take away that attitude, you change yourself. You have bricks, like in a wall. That's your habits. Do you make a wall out of those bricks or a path? The difference is 90 degrees. Also between freedom and bondage. Et aussi entre et la so that's why we teach how you transcend your thoughts and feelings, your dualistic karma. 
C'est pour ça que nous, que nous enseignons comment transcender no, notre karma, notre pensée. So that we would attain freedom and responsibility together at the same time. Pour obtenir euh, la responsabilité et mm. la liberté en même temps. Because Europe has been missing that sorely, badly. Parce que ça manque à l'Europe, mais sévèrement. If you look at your own wonderful history, what in the name of liberté, égalité et fraternité was committed? What happened? Qu'est-ce qui a été commis dans notre propre histoire? Qu'est-ce qui a été commis au nom de liberté, fraternité, égalité? You do your own homework. Most of you have already done that. I've seen it in your eyes right now. La plupart d'entre vous avez déjà fait ce travail-là. Il a vu dans, dans vos yeux, individuellement. And that's why clarity is so important. Et pour ça que la est Perceiving cause and effect is so important. De la cause à effet, très important. Taking away our ignorant views and false ideas is so important. Then everything is harmonious and clear and manageable. Et tout devient, euh, harmonieux, clair. So that's when we can form clear associations or clear alliances. We have four kinds of karma. Nous avons quatre karma. Individual, Individual, duo or couple, couple or duel, family, la famille, and group. Et group. The difference between one and two is very simple. Also between couple and family, the child is the difference. And between family and group, the blood relationship is the difference. And what we need to work on is that one does not damage the other. <laughs> Because if one exists to the detriment of another, we are not complete. You should know what is more important for you. Some people stay single their whole lives. Il y a des gens qui restent seuls toute leur vie. They have sometimes relationships, but they never marry, never make kids. Des fois, ils ont des relations, mais ils n'ont jamais d'enfants, ils n'ont jamais de, de mariage. But they become part of a larger group. Mais ils deviennent une partie d'un groupe plus large. Some people stay with a significant other without children. Certains couples restent ensemble avec un, une autre personne significative mais sans enfant. But they are very happy with other families who have a lot of children. Mais ils sont très heureux avec plein d'autres familles qui ont eux des enfants. And of course there are families with a lot of kids but they do not make any judgments on those who do not have that many kids. Et évidemment il y a des familles qui ont beaucoup d'enfants mais qui ne font pas de jugements sur le fait que d'autres n'ont pas d'enfants. This non-judgmental mind is key to forming correct group culture. Cette conscience de non-jugement est la clé du rassemblement, de l'unification. I love this word, non-jugement. Non It's like telling someone in a special language that I love you. C'est comme dire à quelqu'un dans une langue particulière, je vous aime. If we want correct group culture, we have to put down our ideas and judgments. That's very clear. Alors si vous nous voyez une, une, une culture correcte, nous devons mettre de côté nos, nos propres idées et notre propre jugement. The result is trust. La, le résultat en est la confiance. And this trust-based communities, they have a balance built in. Et ces communautés basées sur la confiance ont une espèce d'équilibre. Because I don't have to compete with you to get what I want. If I help you, you help me. That's trust. I don't have to take away what you have because we can make together what we need. And these communities, these groups are very important in an individualized society like the West. Why? 
Because here we have a lot of autonomy, but very little cooperation. And don't think Asia is better. They have a lot of cooperation, but not so much autonomy. I lived in Asia altogether around 10 years. About six was continuously in South Korea. I have seen group culture in an overdrive. If group culture is in an overdrive, then the individual loses creativity, freedom, and responsibility. If you overemphasize the individual, there is no cooperation. Everything is for me, for myself. Also a mistake. That's why in Zen we teach the middle way. Middle way means balance. Now a balancing act is that I stop talking. And I will let you ask questions.